literature and we need to go on and the next speaker is uh, Christian Gorge. Uh, uh, good morning, uh, everybody. First of all, I wish to thank uh, Peter for uh, a great meeting, for inviting me to this uh, anniversary of the Hungarian Pancreatic uh, Study Group. Uh, my conference will be about uh, US with uh, FNF and B for pancreatic cancer. And uh, I'll start with uh, four images uh, uh, from uh, uh, pancreatic uh, adenocarcinoma. This is an US with a needle uh, inside in this uh, a specimen of uh, uh, after uh, FNP. Uh, a small quantities of ascites and uh, a note uh, from a patient with the uh, pancreatic uh, uh, adenocarcinoma. Yes. There are uh, uh, some facts about uh, uh, pancreatic adenocarcinoma, the, the second leading cause of cancer death by uh, 2030. But the diagnosis only uh, 10, 20 uh, percent of patients are consider, considered uh, resectable. In patients with uh, pancreatic adenocarcinoma and uh, R0 resection, five years survival is only 20 percent. And uh, uh, patients with uh, metastatic uh, PDAC have a median overall survival about uh, 12 uh, months. Uh, PDAC is a disease for which uh, novel therapies are urgently needed uh, as the uh, allure of uh, precision medicine. This suggests that uh, the adoption of precision medicine can, be, can have a substantial effect on survival in patients with uh, uh, PDAC and the tissue still remains uh, the issue. And this is algorithm for evaluation and management of uh, suspected uh, uh, PDAC uh, from uh, ESG. And uh, you can see that uh, US uh, is uh, important after, uh, after uh, uh, CT. So uh, this is a uh, statement uh, from ESMO, uh, endoscopic ultrasound guided fire needle biopsy. Uh, and aspiration, uh, needle aspiration, other standard methods for diagnostic uh, pancreatic malignancies, providing a minimally invasive method of obtaining tissue for examination. When to get uh, USFNA uh, for rejectable uh, disease? Uh, this is a, an important question for uh, neoadjuvant chemotherapy, probably in the future. Borderline resectable disease, always before no adjuvant uh, treatment, locally uh, unresectable for chemotherapy and uh, uh, metastatic also for uh, chemotherapy. And this is uh, equipment. Uh, this is a uh, uh, linear uh, uh, echoendoscope, standard <coughs> needles, and uh, uh, FNB needles. Uh, this is um, and uh, a specimen after FNA and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, FNB, you can see a lot of uh, material. And this is uh, histology, histology versus uh, cytology for, uh, uh, for uh, uh, PDAC. So uh, uh, USFNA is a safe procedure with uh, relatively low risk for morbidity and mortality. And the uh, post-procedure pain and pancreatitis are the most common uh, complications. First, first of all, uh, let's talk about uh, USFNA for uh, uh, PDAC diagnostic and uh, staging. And uh, CT multi detector with a dedicated pancreatic protocol is the first uh, line tool for uh, diagnosis and tumor staging. But uh, four important uh, limitations for CT for initial uh, staging must be pointed out. First of all, the evaluation of uh, ISO attenuating uh, tumor corresponding to 5 to 17 percent of PDAC, the poor detection and characterizing uh, local lymph nodes, inadequate sensibility for detecting small uh, below 10 millimeter liver metastasis, the assessment of peritoneal calciomatosis uh, given the fragment uh, small size and possible media distribution of peritoneal metastasis. 
So uh, diagnostic uh, PDAC, differential diagnosis and assessment of small ILO2 and ill-defined uh, isoattenuating uh, tumors. This is an uh, PDAC 8 millimeter detected by uh, US and uh, not visible uh, with uh, uh, CT. For diagnostic, diagnostic uh, PDAC, <clears throat> um, three images uh, uh, of uh, uh, adenocarcinoma. With this, this is an pseudopapillary adenocarcinoma in the core, uh, core biopsy. This is a stromal reaction uh, with this in a cell block. Uh, of uh, uh, adenocarcinoma and the cytology suggestive for uh, adenocarcinoma. Diagnostic uh, and the differential uh, diagnostic US with uh, tissue acquisition remains uh, diagnostic test of choice for diagnosing uh, pancreatic masses because about 20% of these uh, patients do not have uh, uh, PDAC. 15% of masses are net and metastatic lesions, 1% lymphomas, and uh, 5 to uh, 11 are inflammatory mass and uh, autoimmune pancreatitis. So, neuroendocrine uh, tumors, a small neuroendocrine tumors, uh, needle inside, cytology, core biopsy, and uh, uh, impressive uh, uh, key 67.5% uh, in this uh, special patient. During uh, these studies, uh, uh, Dutch pancreatic uh, cancer uh, group study, uh, from uh, this uh, big number of, uh, of patients, 7% uh, were ultimately diagnosed uh, with the bending disease after surgery. Autoimmune pancreatitis, uh, this is uh, a mass uh, in, uh, in the head of uh, pancreas uh, with a uh, typical aspect, uh, US. Uh, of uh, uh, mass, uh, probably adenocarcinoma, but uh, story, story form fibrosis and uh, uh, AG, uh, AGG4 uh, shown in autoimmune pancreatitis. Uh, in the determination of tumoral involvement of the portal brain confluence, also US is particularly uh, useful, and uh, you can see uh, imaging from uh, a loss of uh, hyperechoic uh, interface. Uh, uh, vessel luminal uh, narrowing, this and this, and uh, tumor in uh, vessel lumina. And sometimes, uh, uh, like in this uh, uh, in this slide, the US FNA with uh, uh, 25 uh, needle for inferior vena cava uh, for vascular thrombus. End uh, staging. This is uh, sensibility, uh, specificity, and accuracy. And uh, this is a note uh, from. Uh, uh, Japanese uh, uh, paper uh, with the, um, uh, with the meta, uh, metastasis. In the detection of uh, even minimal amounts of uh, ascites, uh, you can see minimal ascites under the left uh, hepatic lobe, and this is radial US and uh, US FNA uh, from omentum and uh, FNA malignant uh, cells. Um, these uh, four stages uh, and uh, uh, therapeutic uh, proposal for these uh, stages are important for metastatic, uh, metastatic diseases, uh, generally palliative chemotherapy, for local advanced uh, PDAC chemo due to local vascular spread that uh, precludes complete resection. And about 30% uh, of patients may have uh, shrinkage with uh, chemotherapy allowing secondary resection of primary. Borderline resectable uh, PDAC, uh, neoadjuvant uh, chemo usually followed by resection and the resectable uh, PDAC, primary resection, uh, although neoadjuvant chemotherapy with secondary surgery is increasing. So for, 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 uh, for chemotherapy, we need histology and uh, OS FNA or FND is uh, mandatory. And uh, no adjuvant uh, therapy may improve uh, outcomes with the 46% of borderline resectable tumors converted to, uh, to, reject, uh, to resectable uh, uh, lesions uh, in, this, uh, uh, in this paper. AOS FNA and FNB and uh, uh, next generation uh, sequencing for precision medicine uh, is gaining attention. Uh, NGS enabled the uh, sequencing of various genes, uh, even in the limited amount of sample obtained by USFNA, and uh, allows potential genetic alteration as therapeutic uh, targets to be identified. 
the role of USFNA has now extended beyond the diagnosis uh, to decision making in the treatment of uh, PDAC. Another future perspective is to apply USFNA to the establishment of uh, organoids. Uh, the success rate of organoids established using tissue sample obtained by USFNA range between uh, 70 to 82 percent. And uh, these patient-derived uh, organoids have the potential to be used in drug screening and predicting the response to chemotherapeutic agents in uh, PDAC patients in the future. The complex genomic heterogeneity in uh, otherwise histologically similar PDAC suggests that uh, a one-size-fits-all approach to treat treating patients will not be successful. And uh, molecular profiling studies, up to 20% of PDAC harbor actionable molecular alteration for which we can apply a specific therapy, like in this uh, paper, is uh, uh, recently published in the Lancet Oncology by Ishvaran. And uh, the median overall survival patient with advanced PDAC who had actionable alteration receiving matching therapy is one year longer than those receiving unmatched therapy. And these uh, are therapeutic uh, targets uh, in uh, pancreatic uh, cancer. It's an uh, ESMO uh, review uh, published uh, last year. This is uh, our uh, uh, hospital, my hospital, Sunday Clinical Hospital. And this is a team and uh, uh, translational uh, uh, center. Uh, the team is uh, with uh, with um, is a complex and multidisciplinary with uh, surgeons, with uh, pathologists, uh, oncologists, and uh, uh, chemists and biologists. And uh, these are ongoing research. Uh, uh, four, I put uh, only four ongoing research uh, uh, implied uh, USFNA uh, uh, DNA isolation from pancreatic adenocarcinoma tissue obtained by USFNA. OSFNA versus uh, circulating selfie uh, DNA for genetic profiling of borderline and uh, non resectable pancreatic uh, uh, ductal adenocarcinoma with uh, Stefania from uh, in the first uh, author. Uh, pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma genomic profile, sensing by deep uh, next generation sequencing of USFNA genomic uh, DNA and uh, uh, samples uh, from uh, DNA. And uh, mutations profiling in pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma using USFNA and uh, liquid uh, biopsy. So, this is a uh, uh, flow work, uh, suspected, uh, suspected uh, PDAC blood sampling, USFNA, histological confirm, confirm PDAC, DNA extraction with, uh, in, in the tissue and, uh, uh, and plasma. Uh, in a established quality and uh, NGS patients with adequate uh, uh, DNA uh, yield. And uh, these are genetic variants detecting in uh, FNA uh, DNA. In conclusions, and conclusions are US FNA uh, and FMB should be done uh, to provide the most precise diagnosis possible to maximize the chance of identifying uh, distal uh, metastasis to provide appropriate material to optimize uh, no adjuvant therapeutic uh, regimes uh, and uh, all of this uh, they may be uh, considered. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Christian. Every, every sentence contains uh, information. Thank you very much. It was a very impressive uh, presentation questions. Congratulations to the presentation and thank you for coming. Uh, actually, Mike, I would have two questions. One of them currently uh, in, in, in your institution of being in Bucharest, if somebody arriving with jaundice uh, or any kind of sign for solid pancreatic lesion in a CD, how long does it take the diagnostic? Procedures from imaging for for US for tissue acquisition for pathology until you can take it to the multidisciplinary team to discuss which way to go. This would be my first question. The second one would be about um, the borderline resectable uh, uh, tumors. Uh, 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 how often you make this diagnosis with the, with the 
the surgeon. So, because what I found in, in, in for example, in Hungary, that uh, either they say it's resectable or not resectable, but going to the right direction, I think we have to think much more over the borderline. So, um, for first uh, questions, uh, um, jaundice is an emergency, and uh, uh, we can start with the uh, CT if uh, um, uh, renal functions is okay. And after CT, in the same day, maybe in the morning, in the next day, but the same day usually, uh, we can uh, uh, have uh, images. And th if this is a, a mass, uh, next day uh, we we can perform uh, USFNA, and for cytology, in the same day or next day we have uh, results. This is uh, our protocol. We discuss uh, all the cases in a multidisciplinary team with the surgeons, uh, pathologists, uh, and uh, and imagists uh, in a multidisciplinary uh, um, uh, team meeting. And uh, about um, so in. Next days, I don't know. Uh, usually on uh, on a Tuesday, we uh, is a is a multidisciplinary team. But uh, uh, if it's an emergency, we'll discuss uh, earlier. And uh, about uh, borderline, also uh, discussion is in the multidisciplinary team. And our uh, oncologists are very enthusiastic, and uh, we are uh, uh, sent a patient. Uh, it's in a borderline to uh, to chemotherapy. And about uh, uh, percent, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, half of patients uh, are borderline uh, from uh, uh, resectable patients. About. Thank you for the nice presentation. Professor Gergi is my mentor. I'm really lucky to work with him in Bucharest. A short comment, maybe we are talking more and more about liquid biopsy, circulating biomarkers, issue is the issue. Will we be able to rely on them or what is your position on this? Should we stick with the tissue? I think that uh, liquid biopsy is the future for, uh, for uh, biomarkers. And uh, uh, sometimes uh, we, we did not uh, uh, the same um, results, uh, uh, liquid biopsy with, uh, uh, with uh, a DNA uh, in the tissue in, uh, in our experience. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, 